Hey everyone! So it is January 25th already and it's making me wonder where on earth the last few weeks have gone. I know this year's gonna fly by as fast as 2022 did at the rate it's going and so I was kind of doing some self-reflection and just thinking about whether my actions and activities every day are in line with um, working towards becoming the person that I want to be in a year and the person I want to be in five years. And so I know a lot of us do New Year's resolutions every year. Um, and if you don't, that's okay too. You don't have to wait until a new year to develop new um, positive traits and, and goals. But um, a lot of us have also already broken half of them. So um, if that's the case, just hop back on the wagon. There's, you know, no need to wait for any special occasion to, to get back up again. But um, in addition to that, it's become more common for people to choose like an intention word for the year. You know, maybe the word you want to focus on is forgiveness this year or gratitude or, you know, focus or success or whatever it is that's meaningful to you. And it was making me think about my own values and just um, I actually have a poster board where I've written down a lot of mine and, uh, just to help keep them, uh, front and foremost, you know, where I can see it frequently and, and it can serve as a reminder to me to make sure that, you know, um, is watching Netflix for four hours every day. Is that like making me into the person that I want to be? I don't watch Netflix by the way, but I neither condemn anybody who does. Cause I think it's important to, you know, have some downtime to decompress as well just using it as an example. Um, but I think, I think our lives are so busy and driven by just trying to keep our heads above water. You know, we go to our jobs eight to five or nine to five, and then we come home and, you know, immediately have to get dinner on the stove and feed the kids and, um, you know, go through the mail and pay the bills and clean the house and just obligation after obligation. And these are all, necessary things that responsible people do. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, however, we can unintentionally just kind of go with the flow that life throws at us and by so doing, um, end up neglecting some of the things that are important to us because, oh, unfortunately we didn't have time. You know, I would have done this, but I didn't get to it, you know? Um, and so for me, I determined that, for example, um, loving on my kids, was very important to me you know they're my number one priority and so a couple of years ago i actually wrote that very phrase in my calendar to pop up and repeat every day like love on my kids and so um i i of course love them already and my kids know i love them but i didn't want it to be an afterthought i didn't want it to be something that um got got uh, addressed if there was time left over at the end of the day. You know, I wanted it to be a reminder to me, like, have I told them I love them today? Have I um, shown them I love them? Have I spent one-on-one -on -one time? Have I, you know, um, shown them that they're priority and not that they're like just an afterthought if, if all the other obligations and things get done first. And so, you know, life will always have so many um, things that were, that are, that are thrown at us, you know, responsibilities and obligations, and we're never going to be able to get to all of them. And if you do, please, you know, share your tips with me because I haven't found a way yet to uh, come close to accomplishing, you know, a fraction of what, what I should be doing. Um, and so, you know, it's so important that we schedule kind of our priorities and determine uh, what we are going to make time for and not that we just react to, um, everything that life throws our way, like, oh, here's another email. I guess I better hurry and respond, you know, because if I, um, many of you who know me know that I'm a bad communicator, a bad texter, a bad, uh, phone call answerer and stuff. And I love you all, but I've just come to realize that because I'm so busy, like if I just responded to every text and email and, and phone call that I got, like I would never actually get to a fraction of like the urgent and important things that I have to do and that are meaningful to me, you know, and my kids would always get neglected. Um, and so that's just an example, um, you know, how we have to determine what we're gonna spend our time on and not just let life um, hand it to us. And, and, and we say, okay, I guess this is what's gonna be on my schedule today. Um, 
So uh, just becoming aware of how we spend our time. I think a lot of times we, you know, can spend time just scrolling social media or filling it with like little things here and there and not even being aware of maybe some of the things that we waste our time on. Um, and, you know, if we just live only um, for the here and now and not not worry about our future, then we can end up making decisions that are going to leave us unfulfilled in the long run. You know, if we're just um, living to party for today or to fill our lives with pleasures here and now, which again, I am all about and think that fun and adventure is important and should be in the mix. But um, if we're not taking time to schedule um, things that are of long-term value to us and kind of finding meaning and purpose in our life, then at the end of our lives, we might end up with a lot of um, things that we wish we had done because they just weren't given that forefront attention. And I think it's important that we take the time to each day work towards it a little bit because I know it's easy for me. I always say I want to do more service, but I'm always too busy and um, it's legitimate that I'm busy, but if it's that important to me, then I will find a way to do it. You know, I will find something else that can go, um, that can be sacrificed in order to do that. And so I think we need to determine which things, and they very well may be good things that we have to sacrifice in order to do, um, things that are even better and even more important. And, um, you know, going along with this, it's kind of like just maintaining that balance of of health in all the the areas like um, physical health, mental health, emotional, spiritual health. If any of those become out of balance, then um, the whole the whole body, the whole person, can become sick um, in one way, shape, or form. You know, it's kind of like building a Jenga tower and thinking of those um, as like the foundation. And if you pull any of those out, then sure, you may be able to support that for a little while, but as the tower gets taller and taller and you continue taking more and more blocks out of the bottom and throwing it on top, um, eventually that's just gonna come crashing down. You know, you, know, you can't sacrifice physical health um, in order to focus solely on mental health and you can't focus solely on mental health and neglect the physical because um, they influence each other so much and it's all um, a, a part of our core being and so it's important to take the time to uh, develop that and nurture that and um, just thinking about you know how we spend our time and what we're giving back to the world and you know it helps to think like how we want to be remembered at the end of our lives you know um, what we would want to be remembered for and for having done and for who we are and who we became and so just wanted to share that since I was doing that self-reflecting and thought um, it may be of some help to some of you as well. So hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon.